Something's Always Watching by D.E.I. Caboose Read by Deathlight This Way Comes Entry number 1 26 09 1002nd My name is Twilight Sparkle I'm writing this from the Golden Oaks Library Ponyville Equestria I have a lot to explain and there's a lot I don't understand. Last night, something happened. Something I almost couldn't comprehend. Not yet at least, but I intend to study and figure it out. However long it may take. This will be my record of events. A log of sorts, so I can catalog my thoughts and findings for future study and reference. I also find it to be a productive calming method which I feel is quite necessary considering my current circumstances. Every pony is gone, and by that I mean they've vanished, disappeared without a trace. I first noticed it when I found Spike, my assistant, missing this morning when I woke up. We sleep in the same room, and I know he had no plans today, so I was immediately worried. It was possible, however, that he was simply downstairs making breakfast. Something he often offers to do, so I ran down to take a look. He wasn't there. Everything was just how he left it the night before. Next, I thought, he might have gone to my friend Rarity, who has something of a crush on. So I put on my coat, as it was still early morning, and it was nearing winter, and walked out the door to find where he had gone to. There was no pony outside. No pony was anywhere. No fillies and colts on their way to school? No cell ponies in the market, no shopkeepers, no Spike, no Rarity, no Fluttershy, no Applejack, nor Pinky, nor Ruh. I couldn't find any pony, no matter how hard I looked. And it was early morning, so some pony should have been somewhere, doing something. I knocked on every door in the town, but I couldn't find a thing. I admit, I lost my composure for a few minutes then, as it was quite a stressful realization. I attempted to contact the princesses, and I intend to fly to Canelot later on so I can see the phenomenon is present there also. I hope it's not, but I haven't heard back from the princess yet, so I honestly have no idea. The main thing I need to do for the moment is remain calm and keep a leveled head. Stress and fear will get me nowhere. I need to think clearly, stay positive, and find out just what the heck's going on, and then fix it. I will write more after my return from Canterlot, and to any future pony who happens to read this, wish me luck. Entry number 2, 2609, 1002. Unfortunately, Canterlot was just as empty as Ponyville. I made a dozen passes over the city, but didn't see a single pony, and the castle was empty too. Can't deny, it was more than a little disheartening to see. I am in a bit of luck however, I didn't notice this in Ponyville, probably due to his low population, but I noticed in Canterlot, a lot of discarded items on the street, wallets, the occasional top hats, all things ponies usually carried around with them, all just lying in the streets like litter, it's not a lot to go on, but I think it's evidence that when the ponies vanished, they left behind any sort of clothing or other things that they had on them at the time. Like those science fiction stories, or that rapture nonsense that those expelled loons tend to shadow about. So I think what happened was sudden, something no pony saw coming. Every pony was gone in an instant, quite literally. This theory does, however, raise more questions also. Why was every pony taken? Taken where? By who? Or what? How? But most of all, why wasn't I taken? Why was I left behind? What's accomplished by leaving me behind? All this relies on the possibility that every pony is still alive, and not just non-existent at this point. I can't afford to think like that. I can't. There has to be a way to fix this. I need to find a way. Entry number 3, 2609, 1002. How is the sun still moving? The sun is still moving across the sky. There's only one person alive who is able to move the sun. Celestia! If she was gone, if she had disappeared the same as every pony else, the sun would not be moving. In fact, it would still be dark. 
Assuming every pony had disappeared during the night, Princess Celestia must be still out there. If she's still out there, surely there must be other ponies. I'm here, she's here, so other ponies have to be here too, right? I just need to find them. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet, so I have to work that out. For now, I'm gonna continue my research, trying to find an explanation to all of this. Who knows, Celestia might even come looking for me. There's hope. Entry number 4, 2609, 1002. It's getting late now. Celestia's moving the sun down, and the moon is taking its place. Maybe that means Luna's still here as well? I can only hope so. I've gone over as many ancient history books as I could in the time that I had, but I unfortunately couldn't find anything of reference. Nothing like this has ever happened before on record, so either this event has never actually happened before, or I'm simply the first pony to write it down. I honestly don't know which would be worse. I was planning to head into the Everfree and search the castle of the two sisters for any potential information, but I couldn't bring myself to enter. Hearing absolutely nothing coming from within was somewhat infinite times worse than the usual ghastly noise it produces. It was just too unnerving. It will be time to turn in soon. I need to keep my strength up. Tomorrow I should go and gather as much food as I can. I don't know how long I'm going to be stuck like this after all. I need to make sure I'm properly supplied. I'm keeping my door unlocked in case the last year Luna decides to drop by. It would be a bit rude of me to lock up the only two ponies left in Equestria. Entry number 5, 4709-1002 I didn't sleep at all last night. I couldn't. It was, of all things, too quiet for me to sleep. I'm too used to the sounds of ruckus late in the night. The sounds of my neighbors arguing about something or another. The taps of Barry Punch's hooves on the dirt as she staggered home. I even missed Spike snoring. How could you possibly miss something so annoying and also so trivial this much? It just drove home the fact that no pony's here. Nothing. And it's maddening. Entry number 6, 27, 09, 1002. I went out and gathered as much canned food as I could from the local supermarkets. The fresh food won't last long, so I should eat it first. I hope the store's owner won't be too disappointed when he finds out I essentially robbed him. Still nothing research-wise. So I probably won't be making another entry for some time. I'll be writing something down when I have something to write. Until then. Note. From now on, I'll be using Ellipsy's vocal inscription spell to record my entries. For all those that don't know, it's a spell that animates a quill or pen and writes down the words that you say out loud. Meaning, I won't need to stop what I'm doing to write anything down. The spell is flawed, however, in that it picks up background voices and writes down words you never said. But seeing that I am alone, that shouldn't be a problem. Entry number 7. Date. 27.09.1002. 1002. I just felt like talking out loud for a moment. I'm recording just in case I ramble something of importance. Do you ever get that feeling you're being watched? You're sitting by yourself, enjoying your favorite pastime, and yet, you can feel it. A set of eyes that aren't there, watching you, fixated. You look for it, yet you don't see anything. No matter how much you search, and how much you wait, I'm all alone, and yet, I get that feeling. Number 8. I decide to move down to the basement for the time being. I just couldn't concentrate upstairs anymore. I keep getting distracted. I keep looking outside the window and finding that there's nothing there. And no matter how many times I look, I just grow frustrated at seeing it over and over again. The thing is though, I don't know why I keep looking. I know there's nothing going to be there. It's not going to be Celestia, and it's not going to be Luna. Both of them would have contacted me long before now. But I still keep looking, like I'm going to catch a glimpse of something walking by. I don't like it. I hate thinking things are there when they're not. And honestly, it's making me afraid. I'm afraid to look out the window anymore. I'm afraid of what I won't see, but I'm more afraid that I might see something. 
Something I know shouldn't be there. Entry... I don't even know. Why has this happened? Who's messing with me? Why do they take every pony, my friends, away from me? Is there somehow a new threat out there? Is this just a stupid test? None of this makes any sense. What does any pony gain from any of this? Because it seems that the only pony this whole scenario was designed to affect was me. Who's there? I heard you. Hello? Hello? I'm not coming out. If you want to come in, knock at the door. I thought I heard something outside. It sounded like hooves. I got really excited and looked through the basement window. But once again, there was nothing there. I can see that the quill picked up what I was saying, but I didn't hear a reply. I told them to knock at the door, so I'm going to stay up for a bit in case I hear something. I really hope it's another pony. It's been only a day, and yet I feel like I've been alone for a lifetime. I'm going to lock the basement door though, just in case. You are mine. I didn't say that. You are mine. That wasn't me. It must have been the spell. It must have picked up a background noise or something. I was just reading a book, and I noticed the quill scribbling away at my side. And yet, I swore I was completely silent. Just as silent as it was since it all began. Maybe... Maybe I muttered something under my breath. Yeah, that has to be it. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Maybe it just interpreted some noise I made as a voice. Or maybe a flaw in it made it write something down that was said a long time ago. It can't have been an actual voice. It must be a mistake. I hope it's a mistake. I locked the door and used every magical and cantrip spell I know of. There's nothing short of Celestia herself that would be able to break down that door. I heard something earlier, steps on wood. Something's upstairs. I don't know if whoever is gone now, but I'm whispering just to be sure. I've been on edge. Ever since I saw those words I didn't say, write themselves down on the paper. I'm paranoid. That I'll admit. But I'm just too afraid right now to open the door and see whatever it is that's upstairs. What if they're hostile? They might attack me. Oh, I hope they don't know I'm here. I was walking around town, and I've made a lot of noise of late. Ah! I heard something. Hoofsteps. Just go away. Help me. It's trying to break down the door. It keeps banging, scratching it. It knows I'm down here. These spells are keeping it out, but I don't know for how long. Please, there needs to be somebody else. Don't let it get me.